Uh, thanks for watching Science with Mike. I was just eating the yogurt and watching this drone volcano footage. You know what this also reminds me of is ammonium dichromate, because when it reacts, it kind of spews out like a volcano. Let's go do that right now. Hey folks, thanks as always for watching Science with Mike. Today we're going to study the reaction of ammonium dichromate. It makes a volcano kind of effect. And why? Once again, oxidation numbers tell the story. Big numbers like this negative three on the nitrogen and the ammonium and the positive six in the chromium means that it's going to trade electrons until those numbers are lower like the zero in nitrogen gas and the positive three in the chromium oxide that's produced. It's called a decomposition because you have one molecule making several molecules and you also have a neat color change as it goes from a orange, real bright orange, to a green and then a big volume change because you're making these gases with the solid. Pretty groovy and we'll show you right now. Here's ammonium dichromate. What I'm going to try to do is make a really concise sort of uh, pile of it by putting it into this funnel and then lifting the funnel out and that's going to be kind of the base of our volcano. It's got this reddish orange color, very unique, and it kind of reminds me of something, though I can't quite place what. Let's change the color of this stuff in a hurry. Before we go and apply some heat to this stuff, it's good to know about everything's NFPA label. That's the label that we use to determine how safe or unsafe everything is. You've got three diamonds for um, health hazard. Usually that's in this position and it's blue. And then you've got fire hazard and then you've got reactivity. So let's go and look at the NFPA label for ammonium dichromate and also while you're at work or wherever you should also keep an eye out for these things because it's your right to know what you're working with as a human which I assume most of you are. Not that animals aren't welcome to watch it's just that they can't read. Okay so if we look at the uh, NFPA label for ammonium dichromate it's got three ones. Uh, it usually goes from zero, which means there's really no hazard, to four, which means it's very hazardous. And you notice it's a one for health because, frankly, there's an idea that chromium is a uh, suspected carcinogen, so I'm not going to go eating or breathing much of it. And then for fire, you'll see that when I apply heat to it, it's going to uh, uh, decompose. And then for reactivity, if you apply enough heat to it, it'll decompose, and it also will do what we call oxidize. Uh, other things, uh, including the nitrogen in the ammonium. So let's go do the reaction now in the fume hood because there's ones there. Can't keep my propane torch lit. It's kind of going. There it goes. It was hard getting it started, but now it's starting to go. And all that green stuff, that is the Cr2O3, that is chromium-3 oxide. And you can see all the gases that are produced. It's just kind of throwing all that solid all over the place right until it's just about to fizzle out and you can tell that's like you know several fold the original volume of that and so why don't we do another one except uh, way bigger than that because that's what we do on science with Mike 
Hopefully we'll have a little bit easier time <laughs> lighting it. I don't have it in a closed container. Yeah, I think we got it started. Now we'll fly a drone over it. UAS department represent. Thanks for sacrificing your precious time over this ammonium dichromate volcano. Thanks again for watching Science with Mike. The Earth's not flat. Sorry. See you next time.